8th place, Dina Nham, Samant Aditya. Hi everybody, I have here with me International Master Aditya Samant from Maharashtra who has had a fantastic tournament here in Abu Dhabi. Aditya, congratulations on your maiden GM norm. How do you feel? Yeah, thank you very much. Like, I am a bit surprised with my per performance but yeah, I feel very, very nice. So. so you are surprised by your performance. Why do you say that? Don't you work hard enough on chess? Yeah, like, I work hard enough on chess, but like I did not expect a 2700 plus performance. So. Absolutely, yeah. Yours is a grandmaster norm, but actually it's like a super GM norm, yeah? yeah. What was your performance rating? It was 2709, uh, which is well above the 2600 uh, rating that you need, performance rating for your grandmaster norm. So, very encouraging result, Aditya. Uh, can you tell us um, a little bit about how you prepared for this tournament? Yeah, like I had played some tournaments in Serbia like before this, like, yeah, like ah, in that tournaments, like my results were like average, but like not that good, but not bad also. So like I worked on my like weaknesses and like bad games. So do you work a very long hours on chess? So like maybe eight hours or so. Every day? I think. And so you don't you don't yes. go to school? No, I go to school. But like now it was now I have I have my holidays. So Summer vacations. Yeah. So you're working long eight hours yeah. working on your game. Excellent. And uh, before Abu Dhabi, uh, you were in India or you were in uh, Europe? I was in India. You were in India. So you played Europe. You went back home, yeah. prepared, and came back to Abu Dhabi. Yes. Uh, and uh, you know, like you're saying, you had uh, sort of average performances but you know your title your i am title is still pending am i correct it you came i think it's come already yeah, it, it has been approved yeah so uh, although your uh, pairing shows yeah, fm yeah, yes. but you're actually an international master and very soon after your last international master norm you have made your made in gm norm right when was your last i am norm made i made it in pune in so pune in may yeah in may sorry. right yeah. actually you had already finished your norms in lorca yes. right yeah. But that there are some technical issues, so so you had to get a fourth IM norm yeah. before you got your title. So that's a little bit of the what do you say polishing of the diamond going on over there, right? <laughs> so yeah, your performance in Serbia and stuff was like average, but I guess performance rating was like playing like an IM. Yeah. But here you played extremely well. So uh, can you walk us through your tournament a little bit? Like how how uh, did you react to the different pairings? Um, you defeated Mahitosh Day in the first round. How was that game? Yeah, like I had a good position from the opening. Hmm. Then like I gave up my advantage because of some like small like, inaccuracy. Uh -huh. But then in the end game, I think he made some mistake after which I won. Like. Okay. And then you were paired against Nehal Sareen immediately. Yeah. Uh, what? How did you react to that pairing? And were you nervous? Like I just wanted to play my best game. Like I was not sure about the result, like what it would become, but like I wanted to play my best game. So, so uh, how was Nihal's game with you? Yeah, it started well with the opening, like I think, I don't know, maybe Archang is in Rai Lopez. So, mm -hmm. in that opening, I had a good, decent position, but, like, but then, yeah, he got the advantage with some moves, like he played some like good active moves, after which he had the advantage. In, in that position, like I had to make some like accurate moves which I made, so. And then you were yeah, able to hold a draw. Hold. Yeah. Fantastic. So you were slightly minus in that yeah. position, but then you managed to hold. Yes. And that's no mean feat because you're playing, you know, Grandmaster Nehal Sareen, who's known to be a really strong player. Everybody knows him. So to hold against him itself must have been a really huge boost. Yeah. And then in the next game against Abhijit Gupta, uh, will you say you got a little lucky there? Yeah, I think I was lucky. Like I had the I had a better position, but like I was not expecting to win it in like two hours or so. Right. So he blundered yeah, and he blundered a piece. gave away yeah. the game to you. So that was an easy win. Yeah. Uh, after which you got to play against Aryan Chopra, another very strong grandmaster who's finished in the top ten. How does that game? 
so the previous game that given me some confidence so it was better for me like yes like it motivated me to play better so absolutely in that game yeah it started with a new opening like i had not played this opening any time before mm-hmm. i just wanted to try it in this game okay just to avoid any main line theory so you surprised him with some opening preparation yeah, i had not prepared anything in that line so it was new for both of us So, I see. Yeah. Interesting, and that was also a drawish game. Yeah, it was drawish. Like yeah. he had some advantage at some point, but it was not much. It was not much. Yeah. You managed to hold the yeah. draw. Excellent. And then, of course, you played Samuel Tersakian, which was again a very interesting game. You were solid drawing, I think, throughout the game, and then you came out losing. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? So in that game, it started as a rouser in the Sicilian classical. So. After the opening, I equalized pretty comfortably, but then I made a bad exchange of the rooks because of which he got some at edge, like some long term edge. Mm-hmm. Then I had some chances to equalize, but like I did not play the perfect move. In the in the end game, then came a bishop versus knight end game where like my bishop was a bad bishop and his knight was a good knight. I see. Yeah, in that end game, like I created some chances by like sacrificing a pawn and creating a passer, and I had good drawing chances. Like I could have drew that game with in five or six positions, but I did not find the move. So I actually, uh, I have to uh, comment here, Aditya. Most of your games, you have played fabulous chess under immense time pressure. You have been in time pressure in pretty much all your games, but you have held your draws and you have made sure you have not come out losing. This was probably the only game where you succumbed to time pressure yeah. and you made a mistake. So I think that's also a really great achievement that you have played such good chess against such strong players and with just thirty seconds on your clock. So pat on your back for that. <laughs> Thank you. I need to. improve my time management so yes think, absolutely yeah. but you know when you're playing such strong players of course you will eat up some time yeah. on your clock because you have to think and you make sure you don't blunder in the opening itself so you know it's like a catch 22 situation yes. if you think too fast and don't think correctly you yeah. give away the game early yeah. but then in the end game you have to really play well yes. under time pressure so you did that really well so why don't you tell us what was your most um, favorite game in this tournament Yeah, like both of my games against like, this Australian GM in the se- seventh round and Temur. Yeah, and yes. the last game against Predke. Yeah. Correct. Predke's game actually was a very nice game. Would you like to share that with us? Yeah, sure. So, can you tell us how did it start? Yeah, so it started with the Sic- Sicilian Ashdor, so which I played Bishop E3 and he played the E6 variation. Then it became a very different game like it was not in the database because that's a very la- rare line which he played like h5 and b5 so so that was out of your preparation yeah, I, was, uh, i was out of my preparation very early so but even he was out so it was fine oh like, you don't think he prepared that against no, you i don't think so okay it is mainly mainly a line which can be played over the board it does not have too many dangerous ideas for both the colors i see but in the game he made some inaccuracies like without developing his pieces he played some moves after which i got the knight into b5 sacrifice like i sacrifice my knight, knight for two pawns and like and stopped him from castling like temporarily okay yeah like i had some pressure on it, on his pieces and also had three pass pawns in the queen side why he had no pawns there so i think i had good compensation and after that i think he just gave his exchange after so i had, i had like two pawns and an exchange for and a rook for bishop and a knight right yeah so i think that position was just winning for me and after that he tried to create some chances but like i think those pass pawns were too good too yeah. strong yeah very nice very nice so that sacrifice uh, how long did you think before you made that knight sack for two pawns i'm yeah, not sure maybe 7 8 minutes like i was thinking about it from the beginning mm-hmm. i had the idea in my mind but i think i thought for around 7 8 minutes yeah And once you played it, uh, how did Grandmaster Predke react? Was he expecting it, or was he stunned that you played that? I think he wasn't stunned, but like I think he wasn't very happy as well. He wasn't very yeah. happy, so he probably saw it too. But yeah, then maybe. you played it. Yeah. Okay, so Aditya, um, how do you like? How do you motivate yourself to work those eight hours a day? 
how do you keep yourself excited about the game it's not like 8 hours every day but yeah me like whenever eight hours, yeah. yeah in 8 hour days like yeah. a normal work day yeah. but you know to 8 hours of chess is actually extremely hard because it's, it's a that mental I love chess too. so you are able to just keep working at yeah. it so uh, do you also have lot of play practice do you practice lot of online games how do you prepare so yourself practice, i practice but not that much okay like so i do positions and you do mainly positions yeah. okay and who's your coach yeah alexander goloshep of from ukraine so you're working with him mainly yeah. okay so was he helping you through this tournament as well yeah he used to give me some lines and some tips for the games every day not every day but for some games at least for some when games. i used to ask him yeah okay yeah i mean his family has had a very yeah. rough time so yeah. for him to make time is really amazing um and what's your plan for the are you playing dubai yeah i'm playing dubai yeah okay after that i think i have my college starting so not sure when i will play my next one uh you finished your 10th standard yeah, 11 So yeah. where are you going to go to college now? Yeah, I'm in Pune itself. Pune? Yeah. And what you've taken commerce? No, science. You've taken science. Yes. Yeah. That's fantastic. Have you got your results of your 10th standard already? Yeah, I got it. Yeah. How did you do? Yeah, I did. I think I did well. Like okay. I got 93.4 I think. Yeah. In, yeah, as your ag- aggregate score? Yeah. In and so you've chosen science yeah. and what do you want to do in science? Don't you think that's going to hurt your chess? So like I feel that education and chess is both equally important so like I don't want to stop like education for just chess and when did you finish your board exams of the 10th in may i think in yeah. may yeah. and after, right after that you went and played pune yes got your im norm last yeah. one and then wow so do you you feel like you don't need to really prepare very hard just right after board exams also you can go ahead and perform yeah yeah i think it's fine it works yeah I see. That's great, Aditya. Good to uh, hear. Very nice that you're pursuing a science degree mm-hmm. as well. Um, all the very best. Thank you. And uh, again, super congratulations for a superlative performance. Thank you so much. Thanks. Yeah.